Capricorn, hi. Uh, this is going to be a reading for mid-September 2019. And uh, these are general readings. They may apply to you. They may not. They may resonate. They may not. Uh, if they do, there's an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box. Uh, flip the energies if you have to. What else? What else do you want me to say? Hmm? Okay, so I'm going to start you off with an uh, oracle card, then I'm going to do the reading, then I'm going to end it with two more oracle cards. Because these are fun. So, I hope you didn't hear that. That was my stomach growling. <laughs> I think it's hungry, the stomach. It's probably hungry. Alright, so, let's pull up a uh, sacred traveler card, oracle card for you. And you get distant thunder, clear the air. Clear the air, Cappy. Alright, now let's get on to the reading. September. Hopefully good things. Hopefully. Let's see. Capricorn, the overall energy for mid-September is the King of Pentacles. Now, I kind of feel like this is your energy or where uh, you're heading towards. Uh, this is a person that's very stable. They make their own money. They're the CEO type kind of, you know, person, boss, things like that. Uh, but this is, you know, it usually screams to me Taurus, but it's an earth sign. I kind of get that this is your energy for now, all right? Um, you're coming out here with the Nine of Cups crossed by the Nine of Swords, which is telling me you're trying to reach this um, happiness for yourself, this stability, this emotional stability, this emotional balance, and you're having a hard time with that, you know? You're, you're doing it, you're working on it, but it's also... It's painful from what it's looking like. Um, in your focus, you get the Six of Cups. This is telling me you're focusing on possibly a person from the past, uh, somebody that's very close to your soul, a soulmate here. Uh, in your recent past, there were a lot of burdens that you had to deal with. In your strength here, you get the Judgment card. You, my dear Cappy, I feel like you're going through this major transformation with the things coming up for you here. In your immediate future, you're going to be walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore. Uh, what's supporting you right now is you. <laughs> you're your own support. Um, I kind of get the sense that you're dealing with, you know, with a judgment card here. All of these kind of tell the story to me that you're working a lot on um, things that don't serve you anymore. Uh, things you're, you're looking, you're analyzing, you're very introspective, you're, um, and with this telling me that you're moving into calmer waters here, it's telling me that uh, you're going through some major changes here. And um, you're dropping everything that it's not good for you anymore. It's like, okay, am I smoking? I don't want to smoke anymore. Am I drinking? I don't want to drink anymore. Am I, how am I doing in uh, relationships? I'm doing this and this and this. I don't like it. Okay, let's change it. 
you know, things like that. It could be about anything, but uh, you're really looking into who you are as a person and what you need and what you don't need anymore. Um, um, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not see it at this time, uh, I feel like you're very intuitive. You're using your intuition a lot when it comes to going through all of this, all right? Or if you're not, you should. <laughs> um, in your hopes and fears, cycle, ending cycles here for you, which I just talked about. Um, in your potential outcome, you get the Knight of Wands, which is telling me that you're going to come out of this wanting to move forward into the direction of your dreams, of your passions, of everything that fulfills you. You're going to have that drive to move forward here at the end of all of this. So, let's start clarifying. Let me clarify this Nine of Swords here. Let's see why you're having a hard time getting to this place. <clears throat> hmm. So, um, kind of getting you feel um, still stuck to this, to this from what I'm sensing, to this person, to this soulmate of yours. You still feel stuck to them in some way. You are manifesting your way out of this uh, whole self-entrapment, I would say. This is you creating a lot of thoughts here in regards to this person. And of course, it's bringing you down. Uh, it's standing in the way of you feeling emotionally fulfilled here. And you are manifesting your way out of this uh, entrapment here. Okay? You are, and it's going to make you feel great. But slowly but surely. Let's see the Six of Cups. Let's see what's up with this person. kind of get the sense that um, I don't see you connected with this person physically at least and there are things that the two of you may not know about each other you know when two people split you're probably asking yourself I wonder I wonder if they found somebody else or, I don't know things like that there are things about this person about this connection that you're not aware of at this point and that's actually bringing you down a little but uh, that's changing now the way I'm seeing it it's changing because you're probably gonna stop wondering you're probably gonna be like whatever whatever happens happens because you're busy manifesting your way out of this um, headspace here that you're in because of this connection and once you're out of that headspace uh, out of those thoughts you'll you'll probably stop wondering what is it that I don't know what are they hiding? You won't care, pretty much. So, let's see this um, judgment. No. I want to take a look at this Ten of Wands in your recent past. Before I get to the judgment part. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... In this connection here, there was love here. So there was, it's not, I mean, the two of you are definitely soulmates, strong soulmates, and there was a lot of love being offered, which I feel like that was, uh, you know, from both sides. It wasn't like you love them, they didn't love you. No, it was equal here. Uh, it was mutual. And it something happened that brought things into balance for this connection. Now, I'm not saying that you two made up and this could actually even talk about a breakup, you know, to bring balance into a connection 
you could go either or. You know, if things weren't working out, even though there was love, even a breakup could fix things in a connection. I, I think you get what I'm saying, but uh, I hope. Um, it's looking like things got balanced in that connection because it was burdening. Something in that connection brought a lot of burdens on your shoulders. So things got balanced eventually. Judgment. Let's go to judgment. Well, Cappy, you might be saying, screw this. I'm going for love. I'm going for... You've got two brand new beginnings. You're walking away from this... Um, to me, this shouts uh, transformation here. You know, major, major transformation. Because this person is in pain. This, pain. this person is suffering. And when the universe brings out the hand here saying you need to do this, it's not a pleasant ride here. And this person tells me that. And you might be saying, screw that. It's too hard. And um, either finding new love or going back to something that, um, you know, there's love in. I kind of see this as an escape route, even though it's looking good. It's two brand new beginnings here. And powerful one at that. And... I kind of see you walking towards that, which is, again, very good. But as you walk towards that, you're um, possibly skipping this part where you need to look at some things in your life, especially with this Devil card coming up. But we'll see. We'll see as we go on. Let me see the Six of Swords in your immediate future. <clears throat> I do see you waiting for a little bit uh, for something or someone to come in and they're going to come in uh, to bring you happiness here and stability um, you're possibly You're possibly walking away from, um, I kind of see this as being you for some reason, you know, kind of like a beginner in love if you want, or not a beginner, but some, some sort of not really <clears throat> willing to commit necessarily hundred percent, a little bit of player, but not really because you are waiting for stability here. You know, but I kind of see you like testing out the field. And uh, with this walking away card, I kind of get the sense that um, you're not going to do that anymore. You know, trying things out in connections or with people here. You're going to go for the um, whenever you feel is right. That's when you're going to enter a relationship for the future. You know, because if before you were kind of like, eh. Yeah, let's try it. It's not looking that way anymore. You're going to be more... It's looking like you know more what you want out of the connection, out of a connection. More than before. Let's see this devil card and what's supporting you. There is someone in your life that you see, you know, you see them as husband material. This person loves you very, very much. And they are willing to offer you a brand new beginning here. But they're attached to this devil card. So this person, who I feel like you know who they are already. Uh, and you know they have this energy attached to them. Um, I don't see this, even though this is your card, I don't see this as being you. I see it as being somebody... Uh, that loves you very, very much, but I feel like you still need to learn things from this person 
uh, they're probably in your life to teach you some sort of karmic lessons. And there may be some things you still um, need to learn from them. Let's see this High Priestess in the Unseen Energies. What's up with these cards? Oh, come on. Really? Stay there. You're, um, you are going through this major transformation and it's not, it's not the best, you know, the best looking kind. It's not the very happiest kind. And the way you're not making it, uh, you're making it even harder by trying to move really, really fast. Um, you know, in work, in life in general, it doesn't have to be connected to one single person, but you are transforming your life and you are um, kind of rushing through it, you know, when the universe is kind of telling you chill, uh, balance things out, and um, um, don't rush, don't rush this process, you know, because it's looking like even, it's kind of looking like it's uncomfortable and you're trying to run away from it, and you need to settle it down for a little bit to quiet things down for yourself to go through this properly because if you rush it you might miss some things that you need to to address let's clarify the world in your hopes and fears Yeah, you're willing to learn um, new things here, you know, opened up to learning because uh, there is this cycle ending in your life and you're ready to open up to something new. And the way you're doing it, I kind of like it. You're sitting back and looking at things in several different ways before you can tackle them. And you do have a brand new beginning out there available for you, a stable one, a solid one, you know, for your life. So let's uh, see this Knight of Wands. Uh, I kind of get this as being someone else approaching you, someone that uh, thinks they know exactly what they want out of uh, y a partnership with you. You know, they want um, they want this foundation with you, but um, I don't. I, I kind of see you as still. If this is a person from your past. You're still stressed about this. You're still, uh, even though they're coming towards you, you're still not balanced enough to decide on this connection, you know, when they come towards you, if they do. If this is a new person, I don't think they'll find you in a, um, it's bad timing for you to get into anything. That's what it's looking like. You're not ready, pretty much. If this is somebody else, if it's the same person, you're still attached to um, the pain that this connection caused, things like that, and it's gonna it's gonna resurface if they insist, pretty much. Bad timing. That's what I'm seeing there. Whoever that is approaching you. So let me pull up a final tip from the universe card. Yeah, you do have someone coming towards you here because you're in this uh, energy where you feel independent, you're feeling good. And someone's coming towards you with this brand new beginning, you know, so. Again, if they do approach, I do not see that um, whenever they come, I don't see it as good timing for you. You need a little more time. 
you know? So, uh, let me pull up two more Oracle cards. One from the Soul's Journey. Let's see what this is. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. That's good that you know that. All right, and one from the uh, Spirit of the Animals, which I can't shuffle because they're too big, so I'm just going to bam. And you get Lynx, Keeper of Secrets. Take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your known. Known. <laughs> knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. All right, so I hope these are helping you out. And um, I hope this reading helps. It's looking like you are going through a cycle of some sort here of learning new things, of learning from the past. And if someone will approach you, they may be coming in a little too soon for you to be completely open to something. So give yourself that time, however long it takes. And then, yeah, you're ready to say yes or no to anything, pretty much. Because you do have the King of Pentacles there and, you know, the Emperor coming out. You do have, you, you do have it, pretty much. But you're not ready to share it, I would say. Not yet. So, um, this is what I have for you. If this resonated, the link in the description box is going to show you how your partner, future partner, future, future ex-partner, um, I don't know how your partner see, sees this situation. So, uh, see you there. If not, see you next time. Bye.